There are believed to be over 100 billion stars in our galaxy alone. We humans have used stars to help navigate the world around us and even use them to try and predict the future. So it only makes sense that we have given many of these stars names. My name is Patrick and this is 5 Star Names Explained. First up we have Polaris. Now you might know this star better as the North Star. The one that's helped navigators get their bearings and understand where exactly North is. Now you probably don't need me to explain why this star is known as the North Star. But where exactly did its proper name of Polaris come from? Well, this proper name of course comes from its location too. The northernmost point on our planet is of course the North Pole. You know, the one that Father Christmas definitely lives on. This is the brightest star closest to the North Pole and is named in honour of that fact, as Polaris simply means the pole star slash polar star, so it's simply an ode to its location. The star has also become known as the Guiding Star, the Load Star, and its ancient Greek name meant the dog's tail. This is because that this star makes up the tail of the Ursa Minor constellation, which the Greeks saw as a dog, not a bear. Next up we have Sirius, the brightest star in our night sky. Its name comes directly from the brilliant shine that this star produces in our sky. Its name comes from the ancient Greek term of cilios, meaning scorching or glowing. The reason this star shines so bright in our sky is due to how relatively close it is to our planet. It's around just 7 light years away, which trust me, in astronomical terms is pretty darn close. The star itself is actually part of the Canis Major constellation, also known as the Big Dog. This should help explain to any Harry Potter fan watching this video why a certain character in that series who can shapeshift into a Big Dog shares his name with this star. Now, before we continue, I need to say a huge thank you to my most recent patrons and super fans leavers. So a huge thank you to patrons Michael Joseph Harrison and Ed Jones, as well as super thanks leaver John Zagurley7576. Patreon is the best way to help financially support Name Explain. Donating just $1 a month gets you ad-free videos, exclusive content, a chance to say what names will be explained, and your name at the end of all of these videos. You can find that all down below at patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below as mentioned. Conversely, if you want to make just a one time donation, consider leaving a super thanks in the comment section of any of my videos. They help out tremendously too. Thank you. Anyway, on with our next star of Vega. Now, Vega is the fifth brightest star in our galaxy, and it's part of the Lyra constellation. It's also a pretty young star at just 450 million years old, which in astronomy terms is pretty much a baby. It was also once the northernmost star on our planet due to the wobble of the Earth's axis, and it will be the northernmost star again in an estimated 12,000 years. What's interesting about this one is that its name doesn't come from Greek, it instead comes from Arabic. It's believed to come from the Arabic term meaning falling or swooping. While we now see the Lyra constellation that this star is part of as the lyre, a weird old kind of instrument, in the past it was seen as looking like a vulture and this star was seen as its swooping feet, hence why it has that name. The next star we're going to talk about is called Rigel, which also has a name of Arabic origins. This star is also known as Beta Orionos, so this should make you realise that it's part of the Orion constellation. Orion is perhaps the most famous constellation of them all. Its name comes from the Greek figure of Orion, a hunter. It was named after him as this constellation was thought to look like a hunter waving a club around in the air. The reason I mention all of this is because the star of Rigel is directly named after the path of Orion it is thought to represent. The name Rigel is thought to mean in Arabic the left foot of Orion because that's where this star is in regard to the rest of Orion. In Arabic, this translates into something along the lines of Rajul Jalal al-Yursa, 
and apologies about pronunciation there. And it's just that first part of the name that went on to become the name of Rigel. And finally, we have the star of Beetlejuice. This one is also in the Orion constellation, and like Rigel, also has a name of Arabic origins and relates to the location within Orion. The name is believed to mean something like center in Arabic. This is because it's in the center of the Orion constellation. It does, however, also have a less flattering name origin too. This name can also translate into meaning the armpit of the giant, and armpits are far less flattering than the center of the body. And of course, a corruption of the name of Beetlejuice was used as the name for a film, as well as its main character. The reason this film slash character was named after this star is because this star is seen as being a runaway and somewhat isolated from the rest of the constellation, and the character in that film is also a bit isolated and a bit of a runaway too. And yeah, I can't actually say his name because I've already said it twice. Anyway, that's five star names explained. Let me know some other interesting star names I might have missed out on down in the comments below. Also, please suggest another subject area to be covered in the next five names explained video. It can be on literally any topic and can be as broad or niche as you like. I will then pick three of those subject areas and place them in a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. And then the winning subject area from that poll will be the subject area covered in the next five Names Explained video. So if you want to vote in that poll, as well as get ad-free videos, exclusive content, a chance to say what Names get Explained, and your name at the end of all of these videos, please do consider going to patreon.com forward slash name explain and donating just $1 a month. It helps out tremendously and can be all be found down in the description below. Thank you. Anyway, that's more than enough for myself, but don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm name explain YT. And don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends on Name Explain, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay all, take care bit of words. What am I saying? Star names explained. Try to do that one again. I should have just actually read this beforehand. You know, the one that Santa definitely lives on. I won't say Father Christmas, I'm British, I'm going to say Father Christmas. <laughs> the northernest most point tale of the concert, constant. <laughs> That's such a silly sentence, why did I write that? It means things like glowing or shining. The scorching or glowing. That bit I should eventually hopefully know like oh, at the back of my hand, but I barely know the back of my hand either. What's interesting about this one is as his name, and then the winning subject area from that poll will be the name covered. Had some fun with first name stuff there come out, had we name covered. That's good, that'll work.